Hi, uh, it is I, Kaz, Master of the Drill. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of beard styling. I've been doing something a little bit different with my beard with, uh, as it's getting a little more stubborn as of recently. So there's a couple of new techniques that I've been implementing that hopefully I could pass on to you guys. So, uh, and I, actually I'm recording this as I am vlogging. So if you want to watch the full vlog where I do this, and also, I go swimming, and I uh, I do a bit of a, a, a bit of a workout, and I ask you know I answer some fan questions, and I do a bunch of other stuff. Then go click on that video right here and subscribe if you haven't. I would love you if you did. So let's get right into it. So first off, what we want to do is pat the beer dry a little bit right out of the shower, right? You don't want it too too wet, and also don't go crazy with the drying either. You know, let's get rid of let's say. Uh, 65% of the moisture. It's a weird number to aim for. Anyway, so now what we want to do, a little beard oil, bulldog beard oil, man's best friend. Can't go wrong with it. Really cheap stuff. I'll drop it in the description along with the round brush I'm using along with the, a good, a well-rated heat brush and maybe also a good rated blow dryer as well. I'm sure you have a blow dryer. Everyone has a blow dryer, I would assume by this point. I'm, I'm starting to having to use a lot more beard oil these days as my beard gets longer. It's probably around four inches and uh, four and a quarter inches right now. It's hard to say though. So now take a wide tooth comb, make sure there's no tangles in the beard. All right. I typically don't really have any problems here. You guys with, wire, with more wiry beards, you know, really, really important that you get a wide tooth comb. I'll, again, I'll drop one in the description. That could be useful to you. And then I like to, recently what I've been doing is I've been taking the round brush and taking it right through afterwards, right? So first you, you do the, the comb with, with the round, sorry, with the wide teeth, and then you do it with the one with the more narrow teeth, right? So then, and getting rid of even more tangles. All right, so let's get that blow dryer. So you gotta plug in your blow dryer and it's around this point that you're gonna wanna start heating up your heat brush. This is what is included within this method. I like to use the blow dryer and the heat brush. That's the best way I found to style my particular beard. Uh, so if you have a heat brush and you wanna use this method, and then hey, do this, uh, but also, if you don't want to use the heat brush, that's understandable. I have a blow dryer only method. Fun fact. So, let's uh, get into it. What I like to do, as always, I to take everything over to one side of my face. Every single, uh, you know, the gobbler area, the cheeks, the mustache, the underlip, take everything over the side. And as we're, you know, kind of guiding it with the blow dryer, and what I like to do, is uh, the, the corners of the beard tend to give me a lot of problems right now. So what I like to do is, you know, do the side motion, and then I like to uh, curl it up, iron that out, and then I like to curl it up like this, iron that out. Then I like to put it up like this, iron that out, right? So I like to do all kinds of different directions uh, you know, finagling, finagling it in many different ways uh, when I do the corners, and I, it seems to get rid of a lot of things. I'll show you. Well, let's see. And I like to use uh, the warm setting on a high speed.
to that how I've gotten like pretty much everything out of there because I've uh, you know finagled it almost every single way that I can but make sure you don't keep it like this for too long because then your whole beer is gonna be styled this way and in fact I'm getting to that point so I'm just gonna take it the other way now do the same thing on the other side So now that we've ironed out both of our corners, right? So now I, I, I like to just kind of very, very quickly do another boom, 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 right? Two sets of, you know, both sides. And that just kind of makes sure that everything's gonna remain straight. Then we're gonna very quickly go in with the heat brush. I've been using the heat brush a lot less recently, right? Um, I've been focusing more on the blow dryer because I, I kind of like the way it's been making my beard look recently. And um, I, I haven't been going as hard with the blow with the heat brush as recently. So uh, I'll show you what I do here. So as of recently, what's been working for me is I haven't been styling it up, right? I used to take everything upwards like this while running the blow dryer. Haven't really been doing that. And it seems to be working better because it actually, uh, what it seems to have been doing recently, it's, it seems to uh, be messing it up more than making it better. Um, that's just my experience as of recently. Now, which is unfortunate because I, it, I've had good experiences from it from the past, so. Maybe uh, when my beard gets to a certain length, that's just not the ideal thing to do anymore. So, uh, now we take a heat brush. And actually, I, I got a question about this recently, and that is, um, you know, oh, my beard starts to fall apart after like 15 minutes of styling, right? And I am very confident that most men, if you have only done what I have just done uh, with the beard, then it will fall apart in like 15 minutes. Uh, but this is going to change everything, right? You get a heat brush and you just quickly run it through. It's just gonna kind of very nicely iron out all the hairs. I'm at 180 degrees right now. Right, oh, sorry, wrong way. 180 degrees. And you just quickly iron out. I like to take it with the, with the roller brush. Right, you take these hairs, iron them right out. Adds a little bit of straightness. The more straight you want it to be, the more you'll iron them out. So lately I've been trying to go a little easier with it because I want to be nicer to my beard. But this will maintain for much longer. Like that alone, what, what I've just done, that alone will help immensely. I'm very confident about that. And then uh, if there's still, you know, some problem areas in the corner here, what you can do is to kind of use your face as kind of an ironing board like this. Bring it up a little bit, like that. Down. Sideways again. Up. And boom. That should be taken care of. I'm starting to like the way it looks already. And then I do the mustache after I kind of style it forward just a little bit. Yes. Get a little bit of a forward cheese wedge shape. <laughs> and then uh, I go on with the mustache. Iron it out all the way to the ends. This is the great fix for like really really annoying ends of the mustache too just iron it out with the heat brush man it solved the 
they shoot almost entirely for me. And I find a slightly higher heat works. Not too high, like 180 is not super high, but it's, it's high enough to make sure that the hairs listen to me. And as you can see, <laughs> making a bald spot in my, in my underlip here. Uh, and uh, it's been kind of, it, it kind of helps to straighten out the underlip as well. As you can see, before I started using a heat brush, the underlip always like popped right off my face. And which is a kind of cool effect, but I, I wasn't a huge fan of it because not only did it pop up, but it like shot upwards <laughs> like this. It would go directly into my mouth. So, and this is longer, probably longer than my underlip has ever been, yet uh, I'm not having nearly as many problems because I'm using the heat brush, right? And then I uh, grab some mustache wax. And um, what I've been real realizing recently is that my beard is starting to have its own weight, right? So, like, it's actually, you know, starting to establish its own weight. All of this is so much easier to style at this length, but as a result, it, my beard can no longer go out like this. It just falls down, because that is the natural shape of the beard now. I do like it, though, because that's what a nice big beard is supposed to look like. It's supposed to come down, right? A little forward, but you know, down and forward, not super like, <laughs> no boner beard, as one would call it. As you can see, we're looking pretty good. Uh, looks good in the camera display to me. I don't know, what do you guys think? So lads, have a wonderful night, and I hope you learned something from this particular video. Please like, share, subscribe.